Good morning, Ed Schultz News and Commentary from Las Vegas, Nevada. I was in the spin room last night for Bernie Sanders and it was pretty interesting what was unfolding. Let me view the debate overall for you first. I think the Democrats did not do themselves any favors last night when it came to gun ownership in America. The Democrats on a platform came off as gun grabbers. And they gave the conservative movement in this country and the NRA all the material they needed to produce commercials to fear the hell out of the American public. And I think the Democrats failed, including Bernie Sanders, to explain to the American people that the majority, the vast majority of gun owners in this country are law abiding. And the question is, are we going to infringe on their rights because schools are getting shot up in this country? Bernie Sanders was the only candidate who talked about a comprehensive effort that would encompass what we need to do when it comes to mental health in this country and keeping firearms out of the hands of people who should not have them. That is the issue. We all want to stop gun violence. All of us do. But we also don't want to infringe upon the rights of law-abiding citizens. So we have to thread the needle and find that fine line. The fact of the matter is, if we're going to do that, we're going to have to involve the medical community and the reporting status of individuals who are not stable enough to own a firearm. Now look, I'm a pilot. I've been flying for some 30 plus years. Got over 3,000 hours. I'm not a commercial pilot, I'm a private pilot. But I have to have a certificate if I'm going to fly my airplane. The same thing has to happen with ownership. It's not gun registration. But there needs to be new ideas on how we're going to handle this. And I think the Democrats made a vast, uh, the, the, all of them, made a terrible mistake last night by not pointing out the power of the gun lobby. Just to throw out the NRA isn't enough. 90% of the American people, that's 9 out of 10 people that were sitting out in that crowd last night, want background checks after Sandy Hook. When 25 kids were shot up in an elementary school, this country, our government, failed to do anything about it. There was no legislation after Sandy Hook. That needs to be brought out to the American people so we all understand the strength of the gun lobby and what we're up against. Bernie Sanders made the point last night, and it was very profound, and people just shot over it. Because I think that there is a different mentality when it comes to firearms on the East Coast and the West Coast. There is a different mindset in rural America when it comes to gun ownership. The fact is, people in rural America don't want their schools shot up either. So the Democrats collectively, I think, came off as the gun-grabbing party last night. And that is going to be a problem. And they did nothing but feed the Republicans and the conservative media raw meat last night for commercials saying that we're going to fear you up and they're going to take your guns. And that's not where any candidate wants to go. So I would hope in the next five debates that the Democrats would school themselves up on a plan on what we're going to do about gun violence. But to come off as the party that's going to go grab every gun in America and make sure that we're going to shut this down because nobody's going to have any guns is not where the Democrats want to go.